I didn't expect to drive again such a special Lamborghini. This 819 horsepower Cyan. The last time the temperature was 0 degrees and it was snowing and today the temperature is 28 degrees with beautiful weather and a little bit of wind. I've returned to the seaside though to test another special vehicle. This 4000 horsepower Lamborghini. Meet the Technomar for Lamborghini 63, a yacht created by the partnership between Lamborghini and one of the brands from the Italian Sea Group, a boating company in the port of Marina di Carrara that builds luxury yachts. In order to celebrate the anniversary of the foundation of Lamborghini, Technomar is building a limited series of 63 boats, as suggested by the number in the yacht's name, which is also a reference to its overall length. 63 feet, or 20 meters exactly. 63 is also the number of Cyan models that Lamborghini expects to manufacture. And as I mentioned, I tested the Cyan a few months ago, and you can find that video in our channel. So now you know the origins of this project, which is a day cruiser. This is what these types of boats are called, incorporating unique features that are more in line with some luxury speedboats. We spoke about it with the manufacturer. We have reinterpreted and followed the history of Lamborghini. In terms of design, adjusting it to the yacht's shape, which is so special due to the high performance of this boat. So we had to respect several parameters, like how in a supercar from Lamborghini, aerodynamics are so important, or in our case, fluid dynamics. We also had to respect parameters in terms of style. In fact, we always need to bear in mind that Lamborghini is not only a champion in technological excellence and power, but also in terms of style. These cars are easily recognizable and very unique. Every sports car also has its own technical structure, but what about boats? By collaborating with Centro Stile Lamborghini, we managed to use new materials and look at our yachts from a different perspective. In fact, we have also worked on the engine room to make it more attractive, despite the fact that in our sector it plays a purely technical function. Here it has become a focal point. As a matter of fact, the central part and the stern area of this yacht can be fully opened so as to show the engine room. Obviously, we have also worked with materials we don't usually employ. We use carbon fiber, for instance, for the outfitting, the deck, all the components, and also all the accessories, including the T-top. Weight has been a paramount issue since the beginning to guarantee very high performance and good handling. Another important point is that we want to replicate and feel the same good vibes you have when you drive a Lamborghini supercar. And finding ourselves on a yacht, this result can't be taken for granted. In order to manufacture the so-called supercar of the sea, designers and engineers from the Italian Sea Group and Lamborghini have been collaborating and together drew inspiration from their mutual experience for even the smallest of details. Details that may look trivial, but actually make customers feel like they're on a real Lamborghini. Here, we kept the hexagon, drawing inspiration from the Lamborghini Sion. Also, the boat can be varnished with any color on the Lamborghini color chart. It also recalls Lamborghini body surfacing with an Ypsilon shape and diagonal lines. Take a closer look at the bridge, where we created this feeling of being a fighter pilot. You can see that we've got the seat from the Lamborghini STO matched to the steering wheel from the Sion, and all the screen graphics match what you would get in a Lamborghini motor car. But above all, as far as the cabin's concerned, customers can replicate the interior of their SVJ as if they were in their very own car's cockpit so that their boat matches perfectly. I mean, you can effectively sleep in the same cabin as your SVJ. Here on the deck, there are so many references to the Lamborghini cars. Let's see some of them, starting from the rope entry. This section was milled and recalls the shape of Lamborghini exhaust pipes. The stern lights are really special, as these are not conventional on boats. 
Let's now move to the bow and the hexagon on this cap which reminds us of Lamborghini's fuel cap. Also, there's a fridge on the boats with these vents which are a clear reference to the Lamborghini cars. And then we have the handrails to hang on to when the boat is sailing. Here you can see a special feature near the fridge area. You can charge your devices using this wireless inductive charger. And the door here, it displays the same handle as in the road cars. The serial number. 1 of 63 means it's the first boat of the limited edition series and then the wheelhouse incorporating the wheel we're so familiar with in Lamborghinis. There are two buttons to start both engines, the throttle levers and the sail mode selector operated by a touch sensitive button in the dashboard or to be more accurate in the wheelhouse. Here you can select the best sailing mode. Race is the typical mode you choose when you want to unleash the yacht's maximum power. When you're mooring though, you can decelerate, checking the output of both engines. And again, the font is the same as in the cars. Further references like these hexagonal events make customers feel as if they're driving a real Lamborghini built in Santa Gata Bolognese. The feeling of being on board a Lamborghini continues under deck, which is reserved for the cabins, bathroom and eating areas. And as for the layout, you can choose one of the following. The lounge version is equipped with a private bathroom to ensure the privacy of the ship's new owner. An open space with sofas including the kitchen, a storage room and a closet. The second version has a single cabin. In this option, the kitchen and the bow area are separated to make room for a king-size sofa bed. The forward cabin is large and there's room for the ship's owner's private bathroom here. And the third option? Well, that offers a double cabin with two individual rooms. The ship owner's cabin equipped with a king-size bed like in a luxury hotel and the guest cabin with two individual beds you can join to make a double bed. All the colors and materials can be customized thanks to the Ad Personam program, the same one that Lamborghini uses in their sports cars. And just like Lamborghini's road cars, the boat distinguishes itself thanks to its outstanding performance and dynamic features like its 4,000 horsepower engines that also produce 6,500 newton meters of torque. Both engines are made by MAN and a 24-liter twin-turbo V12 diesels. Total weight, or rather I should say total displacement, is 24 tons for the entire boat. The maximum beam width is 18 feet, or about 5.5 meters, and the maximum capacity is 12 passengers. Top speed, that's 60 knots or 111 kilometers per hour, making this boat the fastest one in Technomar's fleet. Cruising speed is 40 knots, about 75 kph. As a comparison, consider the common ferries that we get on vacation in Sardinia, for instance. Well, they have a top speed of just 20 knots or 37 kilometers per hour. In other words, with the Technomar for Lamborghini 63, you can make a round trip to Sardinia in just one day. <laughs> Obviously, you would need to refuel though. The tank capacity is 950 gallons or 3,600 litres, allowing you to sail up to 210 nautical miles or for 10 hours, which means it consumes 95 gallons of fuel every hour. And that's actually not bad considering it's such a fast boat. This result has been achieved thanks to the lightness of the materials used, like carbon fibre for instance, and thanks to the attention paid to all sorts of technical aspects. They've been heavily researched, like aerodynamics. Take the shape of the hard top, which is bigger compared to structures used on similar boats in order to shelter passengers from the rain or from the sun. I had the chance to learn firsthand how this special boat behaves in the water while speaking to Lino Dibiasi, former offshore world champion and technical advisor for many years when it comes to testing and setting up a boat like this. He told me about thrusters and some other features of the hull, like strikes, for instance. They deflect the water flow, helping the hull to rise to generate lift that takes advantage of the so-called steps, which control the longitudinal stability of the boat. Apart from increasing lift by guiding the detachment of the water flow at high speed and by favoring incoming air under the hull, thus helping the boat slide over the water and diminishing aerodynamic drag. 
In order to maximize performance while planing, there are also adjustable flaps that allow you to balance the boat trim, in other words, its position with respect to the water. As a matter of fact, terms like roll and pitching, often used in the sports car world, come from the nautical industry. And in this boat, technicians paid special attention to root holding, which lets the boat reach such a high speed, not only in absolute terms, but also while cruising. Now, the only information missing so far is the price, and I know you've been thinking about it. Well, there's no official price yet, but we can say that it's almost the same as a Lamborghini Sienna. Well, which one would you pick? Leave us a comment below and let us know.